with you I'm in this metaphysical canyon right now Lord look at this look at the look at the drop look at where we at yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it simple you know not so much climbing and craziness and all that stuff keeping the ups up so you want to know about timelines the brand new designs hard to define hard to detect what's divine Lies hidden, fifth dimensional knowledge, pyramid grid lines. This brings back actually, this place reminds me like ancient Egypt. And I don't know what it is. I'm two hours into the canyon. There's no one here. Um, and um, exploring the canyons and I was trying to find that plateau that I kind of lost. I was also trying to find a womb cave, which I kind of found. So I have a couple that actually I want to take there maybe do a video with them the breakdown knowledge um, and perception and star seeds that are actually rec recognizing what's real um, this timeline and this weekend defined a very very powerful timeline and um, for some people it's sad for some people it's prosperous like the real families are really like a call to come together star seeds Remember, I will be doing a video where I will actually explain the Mount Shasta retreat situation, how we're going to go up there. Um, I have no idea how the camping situation up there works or hotels. Or we will figure this out. Anybody who has some information, assistance is needed. I'm just a one-man show doing it by myself. Preferably, so far, rough schematic is the uh, eclipse. That is only uh, once every hundred years this eclipse happens. I want to be up there somewhere in August. In May, I will prep, prepare to, to get spots and stuff up there and uh, prepare yourself to be there before. We want to be there before it happens, as it happens, and after. But it'll come. I'll inform all those that emailed me and I will, will specifically in detail explain actually what's going on. So, um, yeah, this t timeline is, is this weekend, you can say also April, defines who will work together in the future and who will explicitly not work together. We have seen that some people, you can say, subscribe to reptilian energy. They will not learn, make no mistake. Um, listen to Cryon, listen to Bashar, listen to many, many channels. They all have the same opinion as if you do not choose by now to sing the song of the heart and you're cold then this is where you will be pardon for the uh, military ops that's flying around here that's a special chopper yeah. the stuff going on around here I'm not holding up my camera I ain't worth it so special operations going on night and day not everything is touristy here things are being watched because I think the other side and the failing side is, is afraid of what what will people do and I had this other report where a couple went to a certain site where in the middle of nowhere is a wall an ancient wall that's also withered and has vitrification at the top like kind of molten rock and nobody reports on it it's not in any book nobody talks about it 
but yet today it's in the middle of landscape. Like America is actually very fascinating. Don't, people don't forget that. And I, I'll urge you, get out of politics, get out of the main cities and all of that stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, get into nature. Go to the mesas, go to the old sites, go to Monument Valley, go to Canyon, go to Can Grand Canyon, go and visit Sedona. Um, there are many magical places, Serpent Mound, um, Shasta. There's, uh, there's so much magical stuff happening here. There's, I call it ancient Americas. That goes back to ancient Atlantis. There's so much stuff here, people. And we all in dig sites in Cairo and all over the place trying to find out who we are. There's so much stuff here. You miss it. From here to Mexico. It's just really insane. I just wanted to share that. So... It's gonna be some work for me to walk out of this canyon. You can see here, this is like all of this by the tip and then make a turn with, with that tip and then it's another three miles out. So probably it's probably gonna be a two hour walk, but I'm equipped. Have your proteins with you and your waters. Friends that come here, I'm now open for, if you wanna book me for hiking. And um, I'll show you the spots that the tourist agencies won't know and they won't go there, because they don't care. So if you're interested in energies and stuff, I will do a video that will call will be called uh, Sedona Magical Landscape to really actually show, show you what you miss when you're just in tourist town buying tchotchkes that nobody really needs. Um, it's, I'm more about giving you a lifetime experience. Pardon, there's a lot of air traffic going on all of a sudden here. It's, it's kind of like a low fly zone for you know people with their hobby planes and, and hang gliders. So you'll hear that every now and then. And lots to explore, lots to find, lots to activate. So I do activation hikes where I basically will go into reading situations, your life situation, and what these hikes will do, like you, your soul, and your higher self eventually will, will talk to me. It's kind of like you will be revealing yourself in a nice way. Um, and then you will say to yourself, I can't believe that, that I remember this, or I can't believe I just said that. It's going to be nice, it's going to be okay. It'll change your life, that's guaranteed. Everybody that has been here, their life has been changed. And if you want to do something, um, the pilgrimage is this. Many say they want to come to Sedona. I can tell you my statistic is 96% won't make it. I hear from a lot of people, yeah, I'm coming. In January, now I'm coming in July, then I'm coming in September. They actually never make it. To form the intent to come here to change your stuff is a test. It's a test on your consciousness and your focus of what you want. And who you want to work with. Everything is being polarized. So there was a storyline in ancient Egypt where people back then that claimed they were in the same priesthood and the same family betrayed the Ra Collective. And I'm not talking about the Madukia Ra. Also, people uh, like uh, uh, Almin and, and, and others that channel that, and, you know, with Ra and vengeful this and that and warrior mode. The Ra collective does not represent that, never will, never was. Understand, Maduk, when he managed, and I will explain that in the Anunnaki files, Maduk was Mars' manager. And when he came to Earth, he said, I am Ra, I'm Krishna, I'm Elohim, I'm Anunnaki, I'm everything because I'm God. He was just racist, basically the CEO of Earth. So Maduk is not Ra, and Ra is not Saturn. That goes further back than anybody even has permission to read. That has to do with an ancient memory complex that rectifies and aligns systems. And that's all it ever does. Meaning, uh, like the plumber that comes to fix conscious intellect on this planet. And all the plumber does, with all the magic and might that he's assigned with he has attained in past lifetimes and the more you embody Ra the more you live it the more you look like it and the more you will build what Ra has built in the past and it has to do with many souls connected to the Ra we are many and biblical or dualistical principles or evil or all that stuff uh, that people uh, like you can say haters try to throw in that direction does not work because we're here to construct not to destruct there's not even criticism required 
like in my yard I had a tree that was dead and I put my, my, my pebbles in the ground. The tree was cut and broken half and all that stuff and you can see like the, um, the rings inside turned black and the guy that came to cut the tree was like, that tree's dead. Well, I'm bringing it back. And that's the basic principle of the Ra. It's turning little green thingies come out. It's beginning to flower again. It's recovering and hopefully I can bring that uh, tree back to its fullest just by enhancing the soil with the photonic substance that you wear around your neck. Those who have the, the Gamatron key. And I can't suggest to the tree to grow. I'm not that powerful. But I can use modalities to enhance light and direct light into the direction for the tree to grow. It's getting kind of hot here, so I'm going to put on my hip-hop hat so I don't burn out. In between, I'll probably eat, eat a little snack too because you lose a lot of sugar up here and energy and it's in the morning and i got to really modulate that. So pardon me while I eat, but I have to keep that going because when you hike, you know, you have to be... You have to be prepped a little bit. So this is a support for the video. Pardon my mouth. Enjoy the view while I chew. Almost done. Yeah. So these timelines will show you evidently what works. It's not about how much money you make. Some people will make a shitload of money this weekend, but never again. Some people will miss money, but never again. Those who haven't prospered before, it's your time to prosper now. It's coming together. You will prosper, but you must put in the work that's required. Enjoy this out here. This is just tranquil, you know, placid. It's peaceful. It resets the mind. Like when you go out here, your brain just gets reset. I can sit here forever. I'm gonna have to go back. I have some stuff to do. Packing and shipping preparation for Monday. You know, to serve my people. So basically, I forgive the ancient betrayal in Egypt and those who worked with the uh, reptilian alliance to control and manipulate and those that created havoc and I'm moving on now from that the same reptoid energy made the same energy to betray me at once again they had a choice they had a choice till last Friday to make up their mind who they want to work with and they made up their mind so some souls don't understand you regress hundreds of lifetimes down for making the wrong choice. People think there is no wrong choice. Well, there is a bad choice. If you make something where the sum of your choices leads to total disaster and chaos, it's chaotic. It's not fluffy. It's um, it's not gold. It's actually shitty. But those who make the right choice, I don't. It's not about putting fear in people's hearts. It's like we have to understand now what's a divine choice. How do you make a divine choice? How do you stay on a divine path? Meaning like if, if your highway goes, let's say you want to go from, uh, I don't know, you want to go from New York to Mount Shasta. Then you look at Google Maps suggesting the shortest route. Whether you fly or you rent a car, it's up to you. So if you derail in some side town where less is going on, you lose fuel, you lose money, you end up in drama, other people's lives, and you lose time to get back on the highway. This is what this is ascension game is about. So the suggestion is, as Saturn is in retrograde, your path is clear to manifest, but the path is also clear to manifest bullshit. And there's a Bible quote, 
that for those of you that are by, with the Bible, which I think makes a lot of sense. If I find a book that makes sense, I don't care, it's the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, the Nakamadi papers, or the Bible, or the Tibetan books of the dead, or the Egyptian book of the living, I'll quote, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. I'm looking at everything. The sun shines on everything. It makes no difference. Face it. And it will go up whether you believe it or not. Your belief system is not required for this. That's the power I believe in nature and source. And what, how nature deems it, it shall be. They are tricksters. They want to play games. Once you know who's who, you'll see that. So, some wise being said, you will know who's who by the fruits of their labor. I can go back to my grandma saying, look at the neighbor's garden. Look, are the tomatoes looking okay? The cherries on the tree okay? Um, the asparagus that comes on the ground? Do we get stuff from them? Does it taste good? What you reap is what you sow. What you sow is what you reap. Back and forth, forth and back. Karma is kind of also like a little bit of Dharma. It's mechanics of cause and effect. So whatever decision you make has a consequence. Wherever you throw the pebble, my phone is acting up a little bit here. Let's make sure the camera is running. Battery is low, I didn't even know that. So wherever you throw your pebble, you will cause ripples in the lake. So whatever you scream out into the woods, so it will be absorbed and will come back to you. So nobody shall complain at the end of the day, end of the day that they didn't see the sum of their actions. If you uh, bring forth something that creates upset and generates stuff that's not really for you, then reevaluate your position As the wind blows, validating this, check your decision and do it again and create bliss. And it's not in just wearing a robe and putting on a bindi or being spiritual or being free loving and all of that stuff. It's about you being the realest person you can be. Make no mistake, I come from the hip hop that grounded my ass for having to perform there's a show, we have thousands of people in front of you. My highlight was, true fact, I was on tour in Germany with Run DMC at Onyx. I wish I had my own camera back then, I would have had all of that recorded, all, all the, all, even the finale on the last day where we all performed on stage. And I was honored to be on stage with Jam Master J, Run, and uh, Daryl McDaniels. Run the MC. And that's the highlight I needed. I, I dreamt of being this superstar MC. I had that in Europe. I had it in the underground in New York. Shout out to my man Evil D. Duck down recordings. I kind of like always looked at that stuff. Uh, Finster, Finster Bundy. Link you. Back then, ISIS, Black Watch Movement. Um, it gave me an identity and a platform that still is in me and with me and emanates through me. But I was always a metaphysical master of ceremony, MC. And I'm still that. It just, I turned from lyrics into really propagating what's really going on. Breaking the boundaries of what that is. So it's not just the music genre. I'm, I'm like, I went out. That's where labels can't go. That's what you can't study at Harvard or Yale. So I studied physics on my own, like Nassim Harriman, respect. Undiluted by preconceived notions of what can't work. Dreaming about what keeps proton de protons together without believing into the regular formula. Because here's the thing is what I believe. I believe it. if you can make something work, the first thing is it works. Then you're allowed maybe to document what you see, but maybe you don't know what you see. That's why science has to learn from us, the magicians. 
we are the ones I have to secure my material here because the wind blows everything um, us magicians are basically the ones that go into these situations naive to figure out what makes the clock tick why do the cock wheels you know link together you know I gotta close my backpack everything clean get my bottle which you should get into tourmaline water from Maine crazy crazy energized water stuff so all in all is you can say I'm a modern-day druid um, as we know the cabal is failing it's not just the cabal it's also people that misuse and make no mistake it's not just one who works in that section and you can label that person and you know that's what that person is up to and what they're doing is to me the worst it's not government elections fbi cia mib all of that stuff you know play by the rules don't mess around don't play their game you be okay they play with you when you play against the rules they have set we don't play in those realms we what we're doing is fifth dimensional it's immeasurable and the task is to act out of the divine to act in bliss but not stupid you don't take my my milk money you know I'm not an idiot I know who I'm talking to and awareness is not you know I hear so many people talking about you got a shield and you got a shield there's nothing to shield you know the most powerful thing is that you can do in order to protect yourself awareness all the angels are with you when you open your eyes to see open your ears to hear and open your heart to see what is really in front of you then you know what's coming and that actually makes you psychic so for those what Yashua back then said is for those who will betray now will have betrayed for eternity and it'll take a long time for these souls to come back to redeem themselves and they're not aware they'll be put plugged right back into another life on our earth where this, this, the storyline continues that way not so quick with the ascension because they try to cheat those who commit the good will commit good for eternity know this all that you do and i've learned this on ayahuasca is recorded in your soul disc like the backpack they had in tron the legacy that's the akashic records that disc stores all of your actions as a soul in whatever lifetime or conduit you have been in to explore whatever dimension everything is recorded nothing is erased forever so be very wise when you make decisions when you curse somebody when you want to hate somebody you know science has not found out if you throw hate at somebody when you disconnect cells die in your body you're killing your own system so if a magician creates a black magic spell as in a self-serving magical spell to do harm or ill to any other person whether you're male or female anybody who's out there that's listening there's a price at the end of the day the trick of the dark side is they don't show you that there's a price they lead you into nothingness they empower you with fake illusions of what's powerful and they give you the money they give you the Hollywood give you the glitz and the glamour and everything at your fingertip but when the time comes Carlin your ass is grass because you made a deal with the other side and my many people are not aware and some men said that Babylon will fall you can't see the eye of the demon until him come Carlin remember that he knows how to keep up the disguise he's a smart one don't think you're slicker than he is he knows his things. Remember that. He sits in the backyard disguised as Mickey Mouse. You don't know what you're looking at. Nothing is horned or evil. It's the wrong image. Trickery is being used in that realm. And I've seen it when I see divine conversations on Facebook and trolls come in to set, to set up a threat to destroy everything that people have. 
So what I love is what my people do, uh, and I'm very proud of my Facebook group, they keep it clean, they keep it clear, and if somebody gets caught by them, they boot them out. I don't know if that's rants and raves. There's things where the level of intelligence of people uh, kind of, to me, like shows me like, it's, where is it? Where? Let's say I, have, I had a Facebook friend, five years on Facebook. Yeah, Ra, I love you so much. I support your work and all of this. I really, really like, I take, I take that to how do you mean what you say? Do you really, truly mean that? And one day I release my Gamatron key. And this uh, lady posts, you, you know what, Ra, nobody needs your shit. Yeah, that hurts. But that person also will disappear from that community. So Facebook is designed to show us, can you manage your community? Can we build a community? And it begins in cyberspace, that's the test run. And then it will be in the field. And when the cities of light, many want to copy that, but what I'm talking about, a city of light meaning crystalline enhanced substance domes, uh, 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 circumference like phi, that you have the golden ratio that you're living in, aligning your systems, meaning you purge everything out that was actually non-essential, and you bringing the system back online and reset the DNA to its original source programming. So when this can be done, actually, you will get into your avatar state, and that's the mission. So Venus Project, that's all nice. All of these uh, architectural structures are nice, but if they don't have any crystalline energetic functioning with the grid activating the systems, they're useless science fiction made out of plastic and glass we want the real deal i don't know how long it will take i have this vision i mean i had a vision to come here i came here so the next vision is to set up a retreat where i don't even have to talk so much there will be workshops and teachings and uh, when you leave this place you'll be changed but in a way that you'll be like you're better you're well you're vital and you're strong and guess what I believe a strong organism a vital organism a healthy organism can only do that what it is a sick organism can only do what it feels like act in sickness you understand so mission is Like the Holy One said in the ancient times, he who will commit evil will commit evil for eternity. He who will commit the good and the divine will forever be recorded in the Akashic books to, for having made that choice in that timeline. So you are a fractal leading to a bigger thing. Now can you imagine that I'm a fractal idea. Let's go to quantum physics. I'm, I'm talking about the felt physics, not your formula physics, because formulas don't teach kids to see things. That's why a lot of kids fail in math. They don't see. There's a little reptile here observing me. It's pretty curious. It walks around me and it stays with me. It's not scared, but as I talk, it comes closer. Usually they make a run for it. But this dude here kind of stays with me. Now he's on my pocket. See. Let's hope he doesn't move in. You move in, you pay rent. I know you're cold-blooded, that's why you're sitting in the sun. So you better, you better keep it moving, on, boy. Yeah. So. Intelligence is required to recognize and see patterns. And that's why I'm here. And, um, about to wrap this up because the battery's running low. Another chopper is coming. If this is another military ch chopper, I'll film it. I about had it. Nope. Harmless. It's a little rinky dink tourist chopper. Sorry that the wind blows a little bit. It's a little bit uh Ron the house. What up? <laughs> I'm just playing. So people 
that you watch this I love you very much this makes it very pleasant to share that with you and that you can see and many will see that now don't be misled by the okie doke and the hype many will talk a great deal and many holy books born they are these prophets that come out that can't fix a tire and do not listen to the hater that says well you can't fix the tire listen to the guy that can fix your tire listen to the mechanic that can fix your car Listen to the dentist that can recommend something that's feasible and you're okay. We're still in physical form. Yes, we talk about acknowledgement to understand that you're in 5D. But right now here, I have no number of codes. I have no reference. But me, myself, and I and my thoughts. So understand, you are source code in the flesh. You're human. You are hue. The accumulation of light, man, manifest. This is a manifest. This can be in many forms. That is what it means to be human. I'm just human to ridiculously put you in a three-dimensional muggle box. Or as they say in the Fantastic Beasts, the no magic, as in no magic. You are magical. Some people just went corrupt with the viral thought programming to teach you that you're not magical. You're full of hate. Some of you out there, hate will eat you up. What does Yoda say? It leads to suffering, <clears throat> anger. Always shrouded the dark path is. Clearly we can't see not. Always in disguise. <clears throat> The Jedi in the light, he is. Always revealing. Transparent. Hmm. So much to learn. <laughs> I believe that. Yoda should have a book. An entire philosophy based on Yoda quotes. Or an avatar that's kind of like Yoda that would appear to you, like an invisible friend, to advise you. What's divinely correct to do with the sum of actions equivalent to your learning process? Which leads me to the end scenario of this video is I lived with a person once that said, You cannot take away my experience by your suggestion what to do to save my ass. I have the right to crash. Now, how dumb is that? Sorry. I have no more, there's no more headroom for babysitting stupidity, seriously. We have to work together. Look at the Council of Nine and Star Trek. They all work together for planetary conflict, wars, or whatever happened. They worked it out, every show. Now, can we work it out? I want us to work it out. Numerology, I just found out I'm a number three. I'm a master. I've been that. And I lowered my level to cater to people to not go so intelligent and try to water down so it would work to assist the system. And I kind of belittled myself and I hurt myself and I was subject to attacks. I no longer shall do this. If I know something that works and if I can put something in place, I will display it. I will upload it. I will show it for thousands to see. I'm over 2 million views right now. So we are known. We're past that point. But I keep it transparent that you see in the progress where we're going and what I do. And I'm not tiptoeing. This is progress year also. So a lot of new things and a lot of new insights and inventions will come up that will do a lot of dimensional shifts that people will experience. Some people that already got into the bigger devices, as I call them, the reality generators, they know what's up. In the exchange that I receive, is not to drive a Lamborghini, so you, you understand me. This is to set up the retreat. This is like a silent Indiegogo that I'm doing. You are subscribing into something that can actually be conducive to you to enhance the human potential within you. So the, the thing for the human race is simple. The, the believers, you're here, I'm preaching to the choir, I know that. 
this is more for like the, the, the I don't know the five percent of non-believers what are you subscribing to CNN Fox News or spiritual TV where you pick who you want to listen to and I'm free you just have to pay your internet this here is just free this is um, gold and platinum I'll archive all of this all of this essentially will be put in a book where I'll take the essence of what I teach and put it in a book and some will be classes for members and exchange it's a lot a lot of work because I want to make it essential I don't want to give you the you know like the the, the books that give you the foreplay forever nothing comes to the climax you know how it is when you are attracted to someone same as in storyline once it's on it's on and let's play the game of that it being on but don't be shy about it and don't be shy about the consequence make a choice and the choice defines your character and it makes you stronger guaranteed on that note I'll give you the view of the canyon and I see you most certainly on, on the, the flip side. side.